For decades, Kenya had focused on hydroelectric for its power needs. However, as a result of recurring droughts, it remained unreliable, forcing the country to substitute with oil-based thermal energy. Even with this, regular power outages were common and a large number of people remained without electricity. The Kenyan energy sector has progressed leaps and bounds in the last decade. Well over 75% of people have access to electricity. The country is on its way to achieving universal access while keeping up with the ever-growing demand. This has been made possible through increased investments, especially in renewable energy sources. The country is aiming to have 100% of its power from renewable sources by 2030. A big share of this will come from geothermal energy. Geothermal is the second most abundant energy source after solar. Some 3,000 kilometers down lies the Earth's core with temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. That heat travels until it reaches near the surface of the Earth, especially in regions around tectonic plates boundaries. One such place is East Africa's Great Rift Valley, which runs through Kenya, and the country has been tapping into this vast underground energy resource. along the trough of Kenya's Great Rift Valley, deep inside volcanoes, engineers are hunting for steam. Kenya leads the continent in geothermal energy, converting steam tapped from more than two kilometers below the Earth's crust into electricity. Since 2013, power generated from geothermal has grown from just 198 megawatts to 727 megawatts. Now, geothermal sources provide 47% of the country's current power needs, a greater proportion than any other country. Kenya is also the leading country in Africa and seventh in the world in terms of total installed geothermal capacity. The country has an ambitious goal to have 5,000 megawatts generation by 2030. It is estimated that the country's Rift Valley region has a geothermal potential of up to 10,000 megawatts across 23 sites. Kenya's geothermal journey started in 1956 as an experimental exploration in Hell's Gate National Park. Over two decades later, in 1981, the first 15 megawatts unit was commissioned in Olkaria 1 station. Over the years, the station expanded to a capacity of 185 megawatts. An additional 83 megawatts unit is scheduled to be completed in 2021, bringing the capacity to 268 megawatts. Four more stations have been built in the Olkaria Geothermal fields for a total capacity of 727 megawatts. Four other stations are in the development phase and two are in the planning phase in other areas with high geothermal potential. The journey, however, has not been smooth for the Kenya Electricity Generating Company or Kenjin. The biggest obstacle in geothermal development is the high cost of upfront capital required which puts off investors. Drilling a well can cost well over $6 million and one unit requires multiple drilling to find sufficient steam. To put this in context, Kenjin drilled 33 wells at the first station in all career. This presents a huge capital risk for investors and it is one of the major factors slowing down geothermal development. In 2008, the country created the government-controlled geothermal development company to help offset costs and shoulder the risks. The GDC explores potential fields, drills the wells, and then sells the steam to Kenjin or other companies who build ground-up infrastructure. This system allows investors to come in at a later more proven stage in geothermal development. Geothermal in Kenya faces competition from other renewable sources like hydro, wind, and solar, which are expanding their share. However, geothermal provides consistent baseload electricity that other sources can't depending on weather conditions. While Kenya is the leader in Africa as far as tapping geothermal power, the same potential exists in other nations up and down the Great Rift Valley. 
other countries are partnering up with Kenya in their geothermal development. Kenyan company Kengen operates 22 wells in Ethiopia and recently won a contract to drill wells in Djibouti. In this latest venture, we have signed a contract with EEP of Ethiopia. We shall drill a total of eight wells and probably continue to drill another 12. We have a rich history spanning over four decades. We have well sought after experts in geothermal. We have so far drilled more than 300 wells in all career, and therefore it's about time that we spread this expertise and offer it to the region and in Africa at large. As Kenya works towards its goal of 100% renewable energy by 2030, it's evident Geodamo will play a significant role. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one.